Hello everyone, welcome to part 152 of Laravel 10 series in which we are creating the e-commerce website. So in this video, we are going to show the my orders and we are going to display the list of orders. Okay, so in last video, we have seen that we able to place the COD order. And now in this video, uh, we are going to show this my orders. We are going to work on this my orders functionality. Here you can see once the user place the order then he can uh, come here uh, at my account he can click here and will reach here and he can see all his orders here after clicking on this my orders he can able to see all his orders here so we are going to work on that thing and uh, first of all this left sidebar uh, we are going to make the separate file for this left sidebar so that we can add all the urls at one place so that we are required to change at one place and and we can able to update this sidebar okay so after that we are going to embed the orders orders html and that we have got uh, from the uh, side makers eShop template that we have uh, downloaded in the beginning of the series after taking some few simple uh, free steps okay so now uh, see here uh, this is the orders.html that we are going to use uh, i'm going to show you once uh, see this is the orders.html uh, that we are going to use for our laravel e-commerce website okay list of the order you can see with the order status payment method total items and grand total okay so uh, we are going to unband this one okay so uh, let's work on this thing straight away uh, so first thing is that we are going to make the sidebar. I'm going to close the earlier files and we'll open here now, First of all, I'm going to open the account blade file and here uh, you can see this is the uh, Sidebar and uh, we are going to make this separate file for this one. So what I'm going to do I am going to uh, see I can create this separate file anywhere uh, So I'm going to see that where we can add this one uh, resources views uh, front uh, we can put it inside the layout as well uh, account underscore sidebar file inside this one uh, so we can do it like straight, straight away I'm going to create here one file uh, account underscore sidebar okay so dot play dot php so we are going to keep this file okay you i'm going to use it like this and then i will rename the ts2 to php okay so this file i'm going to open this file here okay so here i'm going to uh, pick this one uh, this complete code and i'm going to pick this one and we'll paste it here okay so that we can include it all account pages okay like my account my orders and other pages we can simply amend this account underscore sidebar okay and we are required to just make changes here and uh, so that uh, at one place we can make uh, we can add even more uh, links later on but at one place we are required to do that here auth name and here also we will uh, give the dynamic urls url is user account so for orders as well we are going to create such kind of url for orders as well okay so i will add here and here i'm going to add orders and for wish list as well whenever uh, we will work on wish list then uh, okay at that time we are going to create okay so these are the URLs and this file uh, we are going to uh, include this file here include uh, insert front then layout and then account underscore sidebar okay so we are going to include it like this uh, so after this uh, we are going to create the uh, orders page so for that we're going to create the route uh, so we are going to create after this one here uh, we are going to create my orders and here uh, route get here we will create orders and here uh, we are going to create the 
order controller uh, so that uh, we can add all the orders related function in that okay order controller i'm going to create straight away i will uh, here see i here right click uh, where is my project project 10 here it is right click uh, services new terminate folder you are required to create the uh, see run the artisan command for your project okay php artisan make controller and we are going to add this controller inside front as it's the part of the front order controller okay so i'm going to open this order controller and we'll add the orders function order controller and here i'm going to add the orders function now okay public function orders and here we are going to fetch all the user orders okay a user who is currently logged in order where user id we are going to fetch uh, from the auth user id who is currently logged in uh, okay so we are going to show in uh, descending order okay latest orders at the top so we're going to give it like order by id descending and then uh, we can convert it to to array as well get to array so we are going to check once that the orders are coming here correctly so just check once here uh going uh, to uh i'm going to open this or orders uh but i'm going to refresh it first of all and we'll go to the orders now user orders it is still not showing uh okay so actually uh here see we have given like uh, this one so we are going to add here user uh, then slash orders because uh, here also user logout and i think user account maybe user account user update password so that's why user orders uh, so uh, just the change and change is required at one place only okay yeah here it's already there so what i'm going to do i'm going to click once again and yes now it is coming fine but we are required to include the order model as well use app models order so going to check it now uh, see auth is required we are ready as well so we will add the auth as well let's see yes now two orders are coming here we have placed two orders so far so it's coming correctly okay so there is one relation we are going to define one order can have the multiple products so as many relation will come up here okay order and the relation between the two tables order and order products okay order and order products so one order can have the multiple products so hence many uh, relation we are going to define straight away in order model okay so i'm going to open the order model now and we'll add the new relation here has many relation public function uh, orders underscore products so uh, this one we are going to add here has many relation return dollar this has many app models orders product okay so we are going to match with the order id we are going to add like this order id okay so now we are going to check once again and uh, sorry first of all we are going to include here the order that uh, function that we have created that relation and uh, that is the orders products i'm going to add here okay so i'm going to check here and uh, now the order products must also come yes you can see that the order includes the three products so all the three products are now attached with this order and here as well okay so it's fine and uh, now uh, we can uh, work on its blade file we can create that blade file orders blade file but first of all uh, we are going to uh, return this array uh, this orders array to the blade file that we are going to create in our next step
return view front orders and inside orders orders blade file with compact orders like this okay so we are going to create now orders blade file uh, where we have uh, that thanks blade file we have created in the last video so here in project 10 resources views uh, front orders so inside orders we have created the thanks blade file uh, for uh, for showing the thanks page after placing the order and here one more file we are going to add orders blade file okay uh, so sorry and uh, we will just add here just run that touch command in mac uh, or or we can simply go inside and there is one plugin that i have added to add the new file and if you are windows that then you can simply add the new file in the windows as well after going inside this orders folder okay so here i'm going to create that orders dot blade dot php file okay so I'm going to create this file. I'm going to use TST and then we'll rename, rename it to PHP. Uh, sorry. Okay, so uh, this I'm going to open now. Orders.blade.php file. Okay, I will open and now uh, see that uh, like we have done. I'm going to add this one. And after this, I'm going to pick from the our html design uh, html template uh, so here i'm going to pick this orders.html so i will bring uh, here and then uh, we'll check and, uh, and this app content we are going to pick i'm going to pick this app content and we'll paste it here okay so get this template by taking free steps okay free few of the free steps okay you can take uh, you are just required to comment in the video description if you are not having the template so that i can send you those free steps that you can take uh, just five minutes of task to get this stm template okay so now uh, we are going to uh, show here uh, see here we are going to include that uh this one uh, straight away uh, okay so this one we are going to include here so that is the benefit that uh, we are not uh, required to add everything again and again just uh, we are going to include the file and after that uh, we are going to work on this my orders and we are going to add the for each loop for the my orders okay uh, so we are first of all we are going to see that the orders page is displaying correctly there I'm going to refresh and yes the orders page is coming here correctly so uh, this one I'm going to remove this one we are going to work later on uh, okay so this show I'm going to remove right now because it will take time we are going to convert this uh, to the Ajax uh, Okay, we are going to load this part whenever we'll work on this one uh, with jQuery and Ajax later on. Okay, so right now we will simply show here the orders, and for that we are going to add the for each loop uh, after this one, uh, and yeah, so this one we are going to add inside the for each loop. So I'm going to add the for each loop here for each uh, dollar orders. As dollar order this one we are going to end the for each loop here and this is this we are going to remove and here uh, we are going to give here the order ID and here uh, we are going to give the date created at placed on and here manage here we are going to give the order status okay so 
copy once again i am just going to copy this one then order status we are going to show here and here payment method will come okay so for checking the total items uh, we are going to check that uh, uh, how many items here here okay i'm going to tell you that how to do that thing uh, like uh, okay so i'm going to do one thing i will debug once again just to tell you that uh, how why we can get the total items see uh, like in this one see this one we are going to call and inside this there are three items uh, so we will do the count of this order underscore products object okay to uh, to check that how many items are, are there okay so this is the thing that we're going to do now straight away so uh, here we are so here it is so here uh, yeah we are doing here so here uh, what we are going to do we are going to simply check that count uh, dollar order Uh, but uh, one thing to see here that uh, we are getting it or not uh, we are going to check once that it is coming there or not okay but first of all we are going to write order underscore products like this uh, let's check once that uh, it's working or not mm, yeah i'm going to refresh it uh yeah because uh, we are using the array so that's why i'm going to remove here array and then we'll see uh, it must work now okay yeah now it is working uh, but here we can see that this one is coming uh, and this one is not coming okay so we will check here like uh, what is the issue uh, total items okay so, uh, yeah we need to end here now it must work yes come so there is some issue count uh, count started order order underscore products make sure uh, that this one is correct uh, actually it's orders underscore products okay now it was not yes now it is total items three okay fine and also this one okay this one grand total also dollar order grand total okay so now we are going to check here see grand total is also coming see order one see latest orders are showing at the top order one is here uh, that is placed on this date with payment method this one total items are three and grand total is one at one five okay so if we will click on manage then we will uh, check we we read in order details okay instead of manage i think uh, uh, view details is better okay we can simply add the view as well or view details we can also click this view details okay so that the person will go inside and can check the details of the order okay so here the order status is also coming and everything seems to be fine and here uh, we can change the date format if in case we want to change the date format uh, like simply search uh, change date format in php change date format in php so we will get here uh, see uh, that we will get and we can use that uh, uh, yeah simply we can i think this one will work so okay this one and where we are using the date where it is uh, here it is okay so here we can simply like this and here the date will come order correct alert. to show the date in a better format now refresh it see uh, it's not 
uh, in that much good format uh, here see we're going to check uh, some good format as well in which uh, the date comes in proper format uh, all these are simple format and we're going to search here uh, date format in php okay so there are many date formats that we can get in our php.net okay uh, this one i think here maybe this one or maybe this one see so we can use any of the format like uh, this one also we can use this one or we can use this one like uh, that will print the dis uh, display the date like this uh, monday 8th of this one okay so there are many better formats that we can use see here uh, there are so many good formats see this one this one look really good okay so we are going to use this format so that's why i just converted this date and now i'm going to check it out and we'll see and you can see now placed on february 22 2024 so see this format is really good and along with the time so uh in the next video we are going to sh show the order details okay so stay tuned for the next video uh, that's all for now have a nice time goodbye